once I started my own practice, there was too much of chronic degenerative disorders that I was seeing because Goa is not like any other Indian state. It's more like the western part of the world. We have a lot of people who grow old here, very early. And I was looking at a lot of women and a lot of men having early aging. That's when I realized that we needed to look at different angles, different solutions probably. And we started looking at detox, balancing of hormones, providing proper nutrition, advising on proper exercise, and also exercising on, uh, and also options to people on how they can calm their mind down. So, I mean, if you look at these five areas and you put these things together, a lot of the problems that face the elderly population and even the normal adult population, we can control. Oh yes, we get a lot of foreign clients. I get patients, I've, I've had patients coming in from the US, I've had patients coming in from Germany, uh, from Europe, the rest of Europe. We've had patients coming in from uh, Eastern Europe, uh, the earlier uh, uh, Eastern Bloc countries, large populations coming in from, from uh, the Gulf, that's the Middle East. And we have patients coming in even from the southeast because I do, I used to go there and practice. I've had two or three clinic associations there, both in Malaysia and in Thailand. So a lot of those patients also keep coming here. Okay, what do we treat? We treat, we have treated some of the most uh, difficult cases in multiple sclerosis. Uh, we have treated a number of cases of detoxification. Uh, but the largest number has been always heart failure and uh, heart related issues as well as cerebrovascular issues where people have had strokes, people have had uh, other uh, issues with circulation. So generally that is a crowd that we've got from abroad. We've also had people who have come here for infertility uh, as well as for general well-being. That's another big chunk of patients that we get. I would rather put it this way. I do not look at this as complementary medicine at all, right? Mm. Uh, the reason why, if you do medicine, you need to do medicine properly. Mm. Uh, trying to re restore the normal balance in the body is not complementary medicine. It should have been primary medicine for everybody. Mm. You can't possibly give a chemical and make the patient all right. You need to restore his balance within the body. You look at ordinary infections that made modern medicine big. Does the antibiotic actually help you? I come from modern medicine background. No, it kills the germ. But your health is restored by your own body. So you need to equip your body to restore your health. And that is exactly what is required to do here. So when we started this, yes, people questioned this, what is this that you're doing? But when they look at it and when they understand and when they sit down, not many, many of my own peers they do not oppose it. Many of the doctors are my patients, so though they give their patients a lot of the chemicals, they come for their own benefit to me. So I never had too much of opposition. But yes, when you look at the cardiac angle of it or the neuro angle of it and specifically uh, looking at ischemic heart disease subset, the cardiologists always opposed it.